So insulin resistance is likely a defense mechanism where the cell says there's too much an electron pressure. Type 2 diabetes, you become insulin resistant. And okay. you know we can define what that means for people. Insulin resistance is a problem that needs to be fixed. And that's a key piece of solving diabetes. Insulin resistance is more of an adaptation the cells are taking because some other underlying pathology is there and that's what needs to be fixed. What is insulin resistance in, in, in your view from an energy resistance perspective? And how do you think about it? The insulin resistance is typically defined as a cell's inability to receive the signal from insulin and respond to it. And typically that's because the insulin receptor are taken away and or intracellularly, there's so much work that's been done in like 20 years trying to resolve the molecular basis for insulin resistance. The other approach is to look at this energetically. What's happening? Why is the cell trying to block itself from being able to sense insulin? So insulin resistance is likely a defense mechanism where the cell says there's too much an electron pressure. I'm, I'm being fed too many electrons, too much glucose relative to what I can sustain with my mitochondria and relative to the flux that is being demanded of me, right? The title was insulin resistance is an antioxidant defense mechanism. The cell saying I can't handle all these electrons from all this glucose or whatever. So stop giving me so much. Exactly. The manifestation of a, a deeper seated energy resistance. So the, the energy resistance principle approach to, to disease management is twofold. Either you increase flux, right? You increase flux by moving. If you contract the muscles, that, that's gonna you know increase the flux, you're gonna breathe harder. So anything that kind of makes you breathe harder should be good to increase flux in, in the system. Uh, or the other approach is to the decrease the numerator, the energy potential. And you do that by eating less sugar. The source right. of the, the, the energy. Yeah. Itself. More than half of people with diabetes, pre-diabetes, it is reversible. Mm -hmm. Like type 2 diabetes, in many cases, is completely reversible if you fast, sensitive to the influx of glucose. Uh, so I think fasting is probably the most underrated and the most underused therapy or intervention in medicine. And uh, so the, and that's from first principles, ERP-based thinking. You can reduce the pressure by eating less or eating less sugar, uh, or you can increase flux by, by moving more.